is there some version of the alien conversation that could incorporate oh, the breaking of frameworks? Well, I think so. I mean, the key question would be, uh, we've had the Pentagon release uh, multiple videos of strange UFOs that undermined a lot of us. I just think it's also really fascinating to talk about the fact that those of us who were trained to call BS on all of this stuff just had the rug pulled out from under us by the Pentagon choosing to do this. And you know what the effect of that is? You've opened the door for every stupid theory known to man. My aunt saw a ghost. Okay, now we're gonna have to listen to, well, hey, the Pentagon used to deny it. Then it turned out there were UFOs, dude. Whoever is in charge of lying to the public, they need a cost function that incorporates the, the damage and trust. Because I held this line that this was all garbage and all BS. Now I don't know what to think. There's a fascinating aspect to this alien discussion, the breaking of frameworks that involves the release of videos from the Pentagon, which is almost like another dimension that trust in itself or the nature of truth and information is a kind of dimension along which we're traveling constantly that is is uh, messing with my head to think about because I mean, do you, <laughs> like because it almost feels like you need to incorporate that into your study of the nature of reality is like the constant shifting of the notation, the tools we use to communicate that reality. And so, like, what am I supposed to think about these videos? Is it is it a complete distraction? Is it a kind of cosmic joke? I don't know, but you know what. I'm tired of these people, just completely tired of these people. The, the, the people on the Pentagon side or the people who are interpreting the stuff on the Pentagon side? I'm, the, tired, the entirety of the, I'm of the, tired of the authorities playing games with what we can know. The fact that you and I don't, do you have a security clearance? Uh, some level of it for, because I was funded for DARPA for a while. I don't have a security clearance. You know, I, I am going to release whatever theory I have and my guess is, is that there is zero interest from our own government. Um, and so the Chinese will find out about it at the same time our government does, because Lord knows what they do in these buildings. I, I, I watch crazy people walk, walk in and out of the intelligence community, walk in and out of DARPA. And I think, wow, you're talking to that person? That's really fascinating to me. We don't seem to have a clue as to who might have the ball. Complete lack of transparency. Do you well, think it's possible there's the government is in possession of something deeply fundamental to understanding of the world that they're not releasing? So this is one one thing is this is one of the famous distractions that people play with the narrative. Assume that that were true of alien life forms, in, uh, spacecraft in possession. That the government is in possession of alien spacecraft. That's Assume that were true narrative. Yeah. I don't think the government really exists at the moment. I believe, and this is not an idea that was original to me. There was a, a guy named Michael Teitelbaum who used to be at the Sloan Foundation. And at some point I pointed out that the US government had completely contradictory objectives when it came to the military and science. And one, one branch said this, one branch said that. I said, you know, I, I don't understand what, which is true. What does the government want? He said, you think there's a government? And I said, what do you mean? He said, what makes you think that the people in those two offices have ever coordinated? What is it that allows each office to have a coherent plan with respect to every other office? And that's when I first started to understand that there are periods where the government coheres, and then there are periods where the coherence just decays. And I think that that's been going on since 1945, that there have been a few places where there's been increased coherence, but in general, everything is just getting less and less coherent. And that what war did was focus us on the need to have a government, a people, a mission, capacity, technology, commitment, ideology. And then as soon as that was gone, um, you know, different people, those who'd been through World War II had one set of beliefs, those born in the 1950s, uh, you know, or, or late 40s, by the time they got to Woodstock, uh, they didn't buy any of that. So coherence is the is it the complete opposite of like per, uh, like of bureaucracy being paralyzed by bureaucracy. So coherence is efficient functional government because when you say there's no government meaning there's no uh emergent function from a collection of individuals. It's just a bunch of individuals stuck in their offices without any kind of efficient communication with each other on a single mission. And so a, a government that is 
truly at the epitome of what a government is supposed to be is when a bunch of people working together. In a what are we about? Machine. Are we about freedom? Are we about growth? Are we about decency and fairness? Uh, are we about the absence of a national culture so that we can all just do our own thing? I've called this thing the USAN, the United States of absolutely nothing. Uh, these are all different visions for our country. So it's possible that there's a alien spacecraft somewhere and there's a, like 20 people that know about it. And then they're kind of it like, as you communicate further and further into the offices, that information dissipates, it gets distorted in some kind of way, and then it's completely lost. The power, the possibility of that information is lost. We bought a house and I had this idea that I wanted to find out what all the switches did. And I quickly found out that your house doesn't keep updating its plans. As people do modifications, they just do the modifications and they don't actually record why they were doing what they were doing or what things lead you. So there are all sorts of bizarre, like there's a switch in my house that says privacy. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what privacy is. Does it turn on an electromagnetic field that is, <laughs> does some lead shielding go over yeah. the house? Um, that's what we have. We have a system in which the people who've inherited these structures have no idea why their grandparents built them. 